Up until recently, if you wanted to create a custom scrolling experience on the web, maybe for a slideshow that jumps from one slide to the next, you needed the custom JavaScript logic, scroll hijacking and more. And today we can do that with just a few lines of CSS. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do this. All right, as our starting point, we will use a demo I created for one of my previous tutorials on creating gradient text strokes. And you're gonna find the link on the screen right now if you wanna check that tutorial. And for this tutorial, we're gonna try to create a slideshow, well, just using CSS. On the screen here, you see a number of different headlines and we actually wanna turn this into a slideshow by putting every headline here into a separate slide. So first, we're gonna tweak our HTML a little bit. We're gonna create a slideshow container and we're gonna add every headline into a separate slide container as well. And I'm using multiple cursors here. You can do that on Copen if you're holding down the command button on your keyboard and clicking the left mouse button. So we'll use div class slide and there we go. Next, let's move to CSS. First, we're gonna style our slides here and we will make every slide take the full width and height of the available screen real estate. Let's do that. Slide already takes 100% of the viewport width, so we're just gonna focus on height here, and we're gonna set height to 90% of viewport height, and you're gonna understand why in a bit. And now we're not gonna see where our slides end and start because we only have a background defined on our body here, so we're actually gonna move this to our slides. And we're also gonna remove the padding from our page, and we're gonna add padding to our slide as well. So let's first add padding. And then let's add this background again. And we also wanna make sure that our height actually takes into account padding as well. So we're gonna change our box sizing to border box, which will essentially tell the browser that we want our height to include our padding. So now we have those slides pretty much ready. And we just wanna center this text on every slide. So let's do this using Flexbox, display flex. We will align items vertically here. And let's just make our background a little bit darker to make the effect more visible. And also let's add border here to make slides even more prominent. We're gonna use the color we already have here and make it just a tiny bit darker. And let's make it 62% of lightness. And now we have our slides ready. And now we're gonna use scroll snap to tell the browser that we wanna snap our scroll exactly to the position of every slide. To set scroll snap points, you're gonna need to use two properties. One is going to be on the container where the scroll bar is present, and another one is going to be on the element where you want the scroll to snap. As we have a scroll bar on our document here, our first property is gonna go onto the HTML element, and the property is scroll snap type. And scroll snap type takes two parameters. One is going to be direction of the scroll. It can be either X, Y, or both. We're gonna use Y here because we are scrolling vertically. And the second parameter is gonna be mandatory or proximity. And I will show you how those work in a bit. Let's do mandatory for now. So we have defined our scroll snapping type. And now we wanna define where we want our scroll to snap actually. And this is going to be on every slide. Here we're gonna use scroll snap align property to tell the browser how we want to align our scroll snap points. And scroll snap align takes one value and it can be three different keywords. It can be start, center, or end. And we're gonna use center here. With this, we have basically created our slideshow. And if we try to scroll here using our scroll bar, you're gonna see that our slideshow is snapping exactly to the points where we would want. And if I'm using touch bar here as well, you can see that our slideshow is snapping exactly to the points of our slides and not just randomly between them. Scroll snap align property tells us where we want our slide to be aligned. So center means that we want our snapping point to be in the middle or basically our container to be in the middle of the screen. If we set that to start, you can see that our slide is aligned to the start of the screen and end is gonna mean that it's aligned to the end of the screen. So you can use those values, let's return to center. And scroll snap type, we had this mandatory argument here. And if we change this to proximity, you're gonna see the difference. The proximity tells the browser that we only wanna snap if snapping point is in proximity. So when we set our scroll bar to position like this, it's not gonna snap to one of our points because those points are not nearby. But if they are close, 
or are close enough, they're gonna snap. Mandatory, on the other hand, means that we always wanna snap our slides exactly to the point of snapping and not just in the middle of those slides. One downside with this technique is that when you're using a scroll wheel on your mouse, there's a certain delay between the action and the actual snapping point. Let's demonstrate this now. So I'm using scroll wheel on my mouse here. So as you see, when I stop scrolling, there's a delay between snapping and my action, which is not really ideal, but that's just how it works in every browser at the moment. Another thing you might have noticed when I use my touchpad here is that I can slide from the first slide to the last slide in one motion, and that might not be what we want. There is another property that can help us with that. It's called scroll snap stop. And scroll snap stop can be defined as two different values. It's either normal, which is the behavior we have right here, or always. And always means that at this snap point, we always wanna stop our scrolling. So let's try always. And now if I'm using my touchpad here, you're gonna notice that I'm only jumping from one slide to the next and I cannot skip any of those slides. One thing to note here is that scroll snap stop doesn't work in Firefox at the moment. So Firefox might not have the ideal experience. Just something to note when you're trying to work with the scroll snap point. And basically here we have a fully functional vertical slideshow. So let's just try to see if we can change this to a horizontal slideshow quickly. And we can obviously. So first we're gonna tweak our slides a little bit. We wanna arrange them in the horizontal layout and not in the vertical as we have now. So let's use our slideshow selector here. And we're gonna set it to flex. And this is immediately gonna switch to horizontal layout because Flexbox by default arranges the items horizontally. And now I'll just tweak those values here. We wanna make sure we have 100% of viewport height here. So our slides go the full height of the screen. And now we have a problem here because this scroll bar appears and that is because viewport height units don't account for the scroll bar height, which is right here. So we're just gonna hide this here. We only want to show the horizontal scroll bar. And we wanna make sure that every slide takes 100% of the viewport width or rather, let's switch this to 90% as we had in our vertical version. And now nothing happens because by default, Flexbox allows its items to shrink, which is happening right here. So we wanna turn off the shrinking and we have our slides right here. And basically we have switched our slideshow from the vertical position to horizontal. And now we just wanna change our scroll snap type from the Y direction to the X direction. And now we immediately see that our slideshow works in horizontal way. So if I'm using my touchpad here, it works beautifully. If I'm scrolling with the scroll bar, again, it works as expected. If you wanna scroll with the scroll wheel on your mouse horizontally, you have to use your shift key on your keyboard. So do that. And again, we have this slight delay between snapping, but it works pretty much well. Basically, we have created here a fully functional slideshow with just a few lines of CSS. There are two downsides with this technique. One is that when you're using a mouse scroll wheel, there's a certain delay between the action and the snapping point. And the second one is that scroll snap stop property is not supported in Firefox. But other than that, this works pretty consistently across different browsers. So thank you so much for your attention. I hope you found this helpful. My name is Zoran Nyambor. I will see and hear you in the next video but only if you don't forget to hit that subscribe button.